So here we are in my messy room again. Um, this is my weekly update for ITC or IT 111. Um, I'm just going to cover a few things. Uh, let's look at IT 111. So so far, you guys are doing really well. Um, you, the reading was due last week. I start things off slowly to give you time, guys, time to get going. Uh, it'll speed up as we go along. This week, it, we basically the next thing to do is the Chapter One Labs. Couple of things I've been grading these, and uh, my grades just come down straight from Zybooks. So I have an option with Zybooks to uh, do a report, and when I do a report, uh, it tells me who's done what. Right, ninety-two of you percent of you have done. Um, you know, the readings, uh, and then I can just download the report. All right, so that's where the scores come from. If you haven't finished, still do them, and I will change your grade to the highest level. So if, if I download the next report and you went from a 84 to 100%, I'll give you the 100% in Canvas. And it's Canvas ultimately that where the grades will be calculated. So uh, you can do them after the fact. I just wanted to let you know that. All right, so the labs are what are coming up. All right, after that we'll do um, chapter two. Right, and that's, I don't know if that's next week or the immediately after, but um, as I said, we'll, we'll work on that. The reading again is the participation and then we'll do um, the labs. I wanted to show you a tiny bit of uh, programming stuff here. Oh, I also wanted to uh, comment real quickly on the discussions. Um, I've really uh, liked getting, uh, the getting to know you ones and I like the fact that you're talking to each other on that. Um, I might try to reply to a few of them. As I said, they were really interesting, and thank you for doing that. I know it's an assignment, but it's still quite helpful for me. All right, so the other thing I want to do is show you a tiny bit of Python. So I'm going to open up the Python shell. This is idle. Again, it comes with Python most of the time. Um, this is the uh, interactive one. But I'm going to do a file, new file, and it'll give me one that's not interactive. And I'm going to do def main. So we'll do more of this later, but def is how you begin a function. And main right now is the name of that function. You do a colon, and then you can do a star. I'm going to, real quickly, I'm going to do a hashtag and I'm just going to say this this is a Python function. The hashtag is one way to do a comment. Uh, another way to do a comment is um, with three uh, single like apostrophes. This is a multi line comment and then you need to end it with three the pa hashtag is one line you don't need to end it because uh, it's just going to work for that one line this will let you write as many lines as you want and uh, it's a comment all right so we have our function we have a colon and when you press enter it automatically indents indenting again is really important in um, Python. It's how it tells what belongs to what. So anything that's indented after that colon belongs to the main function. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm going to do anticipate chapter two a little bit. I'm going to create a variable called um, possible for possible points. We're just going to do like a percentage. And I'm going to say that this is going to equal an int input and then in, in the input, we can put uh, what we want to say. Enter the total possible points. Close that. 
OK. And it has two parentheses to end. Now the int here, this is again anticipating chapter 2, says that the type of value that's put here in, um, I want a colon there, uh, in this input is going to have to be a whole number, right? I actually might want to make that a, uh, let's change that to float. Float means it can have decimal parts. Okay, so um, I'm just going to call this one the points received equals float input um, enter the points received okay it's things that are going to get you in trouble here you got to keep make sure all of your parentheses are closed these have to be indented properly uh, make sure that the quotes are closed and that they're the same type these could be single quotes or double quotes it doesn't really matter so I'm going to do percentage and I'm going to say that that so these are variables and variables are basically words that help you store values so that you can use them again so for instance I can hit, do this I can say that um, percentage equals points divided by possible All right, so points is what we stored here. Possible is what we store here. Now, there's all sorts of problems here. If you don't enter a number for these, these will crash. All right, but it's still better to be specific about what you're entering there. And then our answer, I'm just going to say print. Oops. So print is our output, and we're going to output the percentage. Okay, so having a function by itself won't do anything. You actually have to call it. And the way you call a function is you just name it. So I'm calling main here. So let's comment that. And I might give a space more just for looks. Now you're going to have to set save this if you're doing it over here so I'm going to uh, save uh, I'm going to go to some place to save it let's say um, in documents under uh, Python programs and I'm going to call it percentage or percent pi It'll automatically put the pi on there, but I'll add it. OK, so now I'm going to run this. So see how it says, enter the possible points. So we'll make it um, easy. We're going to say the points are 100. And we'll say that the points received are 87. So it should be 87%. So it does. It gives us 0.87. Uh, if we wanted to make that a little better, Let's go back to our other one. And we could say um, points divided by possible times 100. All right, because that would make it a percent. Percent actually means per 100. Uh, the parentheses aren't necessary, really, because it would do this first and then this. Uh, for the order of operations, which we'll talk about more later. So I'm going to save this again, and then we'll run it again. Okay, so again we'll do 100. Uh, this time we'll say 93, and it gives us a percent of 93. I'll show you later how to format it. But uh, this is just a little up on just showing you how to write a simple, simple Python program. All right, I think that's the video for today.
take care. Uh, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, for office hours, I am going to do them by appointment. Rather than sit for an hour with the Zoom on, I'm going to let you say, if you want to see me, tell me that you do with an email, and I will set up a Zoom time for us. We'll just do them solo, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so I will also make an announcement to this extent. Okay. So I'm going to stop recording.